Okay, I think I got this going. Awesome. <sighs> All right, just getting set up here, make sure I have everything. Good morning, everyone. This is your hit class for the morning. Uh, it's about 9.30 already. I'm just going to give about a minute or two and so we can have a couple more people come in. So um, as long as you are all set with having some water, um, towel, mat, some hand weights nearby, that'd be great. Let me go and do that myself. But actually, you know what? I am so sorry. Actually, I think today the hand weights and the program I have does not have the hand weights. Actually, my apologies. No matter what, we are going to get started um, pretty soon. Again, I'll just give it about just another minute until we have some more people come in. Hmm. Hopefully, you've been doing all right during this time. I know people are excited for uh, the gym reopening, and um, there'll definitely be more information on that. Just gonna ask you to just uh, watch our sites just to see what is uh, going to be happening, what's going to be available, and um, we're gonna get things rolling. So, hopefully you have your own music in the background. I usually do not play music because I like for people to play their own music that gets them motivated. However, now we are about to go ahead and we're about to start the class so we're going to begin now with doing our warm-ups and as usual we're going to warm up from bottom up and we're going to move my cup because you don't need to see that okay so we're going to start with our hands over our knees and we're going to just go in circles and i'm going to sit back here so what you're doing is just making sure you're moving your knees it's not your hips that you're moving it's your knees right here so make sure that they're going in circles. And then we go the opposite way. You may hear some snap, crackle, and pops in there. That's fine. Just get the synovial fluid to work through there. And then we stand up. So we're going to get into the hips. So I'll need you to do, keep tight abs, tight glutes, and you're going to bring up your knee, then you're going to go out to the side, and then down. And so this is the motion that you will now be doing. Just kind of bringing heat to the area, which that heat is actually your muscles working. So it's perfectly fine to feel the burn, or not even, you may be used to this kind of motion. And then we're going to reverse this. We're going to go outside and in. Then we're going to the other side. So it's just shaking that out. And then again, tight core, tight glutes. And you're going to bring your knee up, out to the side, and then down. Nice big circles. What also helps is when your leg that's down, make sure that glute is extra tight to stabilize yourself. Then we're going to reverse this now. Then we're going to stop. So now, our feet are going to be firmly planted into the ground. We're going to move our core, our backs. So first, make sure your hips don't move. Just going to go side to side. You got a crack in my back. That was pretty good. Ooh, you got a crack in my chest. That was different. However, you're just moving just to kind of warm up your spine right now. And then, you pivot. So every time you turn, whole body now goes and every time you turn you press out of your heels out your calves 
are your glutes, making sure you're really pushing off. And then rest. So then we're going to the shoulders, which is our arms are gonna be nice and wide. You want to basically lift the arm, turn like somebody's twisting your arm, press down, and then you're gonna come back up and then let it sit. Then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side where you lift, turn down, up, <coughs> excuse me. So then we just go right into it. Keep your arm as parallel to the ground as possible. We're really turning a nice deep turn, really deep turn in there. Deep turn. This is definitely one of those that you should feel a nice little burn in. You're gonna hear those cracks again, most likely too. That's okay. They may be even slowing down or completely going away. That's what you would like. And then we stop. So now that should be all nice and warmed up. So let's go into squats real quick. So feet a little wider than the shoulder. Remember you're going down and then up. So when you go down, all you're doing is bring your hips back, try to keep your chest up, and then come up. Make sure you're feeling the pressure out of your heels while you're doing this. Because now we're going to do the walkouts. So now the walkout, you come down in that same squat. Same squat. Put your hands come down. Go forward. And one, two, press, and come up. That's all. So now we're warming up the whole entire body. to one more. And that's good. So, now that we're back up, let's go ahead and jog. So now, if you're just stepping, that's perfectly fine. For everything that I do give you, I will try my best to remember <laughs> to give you the um, different levels that we can do everything in. So, hands are in front, as such, then we're gonna go high knees. So bring them up. You wanna to try to pull in your core as you're doing this. So every time knees come up, really pull, pull. Even stepping, just pull. Then regular jump. Then we're gonna do butt kicks. Bring your heels to your butt. Come back. Just regular jog. We go side to side. So your feet are wide, okay? So that's all you're basically doing, just going side, side, and I do want your hips involved here. So make sure they go out, 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 out. Then we jog back in place. And then just kick it out. Okay. So, now we're really about to get started. So, timer. So we have about, we have about 30 seconds before we start. So what we're gonna start with, we have 
reach backs, plow squat turns, push jacks, side lunge with the um, balance to switch, wide air alternating push ups, and everyone's favorite burpees. So, in actuality, if you grab weights, I apologize, you don't need them today. However, let's get ready to begin. We're going to do reach backs, which is down here. And we're just going to reach back. And we begin by coming down, coming up, down, up. Now, for those of you who can't go all the way down, you can simply just do this. But I do want you to at least bend your knees going up and down. Bend at least a little bit. But if you can, really bend down. Come down. Keep your feet flat on the floor. If you can go all the way back, and you want to come up all the way, that's fine. You can do that as well. Or, if you're really good with it, come down. Stay right about here. Through. Coming up. So hopefully you're already in. You do know your levels and what you can do. So I want you to just go through with whatever you feel nice and comfy with. When I say comfy, I mean without you getting hurt. These are going to still be hard. And then, count down, rest. Come on up. So now we're going to go to the plow squat turns. I want you to be able to hear the counter as well, so that you know I don't have personal trainer count today. So, we're going to squat, jump, squat, jump. So, let's begin. Now, so you're going to squat to the side, squat to the side, squat. Okay, now if you have to, squat, come up, turn, squat, come up, turn. That's perfectly fine. However, if you can, or if you can, full 180, side to side. Whatever you feel nice and comfortable with is what you can do. So remember, you can just step and come down. Step, come down. But whatever you do, make sure you put your hips back. Remember, this is where you want to be coming up. Rome's done with this. And we're good. Shake that out. We're going to go down to the floor. Push ups with the jumping jack. Every time we come up, legs, jumping jack, in and out and in. All right, so we're gonna come down. And yes, there's modifications for this. So here, regular push up, wide hands, push up, then jack, push up, jack. Now, if you are on your knees, that's fine. You can come down on the knees, then you can come up on the toes, jack, or just even step, step, or if you still need to remain on your knees, just knee, knee. Whatever you feel comfortable with, I want you to roll with that. So remember, knees, Step out. Whatever you're comfortable with. Last one. Good. So now side lunge with the um, balance. Basically you're going to lunge to the side and then you're going to come up and jump. That's all it basically is. So, let's get ready. You choose your side first. So you come down, side lunge, and then you come up. That's it. Down, up, down, up. Now, if this is too much, you can just step to the side, kind of give a little hop, or you can lunge and then just come up without the jump. You know what you can do in 30 seconds, for each side. So we're about to switch, and now we're switching. 
So, down this side, then up. Down this side, up. Remember, you can just come up to balance here, or just sidestep, jump, or mix it up. However you feel, you must. I do want you to try to get some height if you are jumping. Last one. So now we're going to do wide, narrow, alternating push-ups. Very top heavy work today. Needs a toe option, of course. You're going to do a push-up narrow, then you're going to go wide. Different ways of doing this. Let's begin. Narrow first, really narrow. Elbows along the side of your body. Down, up, then out wide, really wide. Elbows wide. Come back in. Out wide. Now again, knees, that's an option. Remember, keep your hands under your shoulders or alongside your shoulders while doing this. Now, if you really want to get into this, you can come down, jump out, jump in, jump out. Whatever you're comfortable with. You can even do that on your knees. Look at this. Down, jump, down, jump. Again, it's all in what you feel comfortable with. Oh, we're almost done. And we're done. Now, everybody's favorite, burpees. Yay. All right. You know how to do burpees. I'm going to do a full one, then I'll do modified throughout the work. So, let's get ready. Three, two, one. Just drop down, down, come back, up. Now, if you need to, step back, then come back, and then jump. Or, stepping back, coming back in, and then just listening up on your calves. I still want you to use your cows, no matter what you're doing. So, down, up. So remember, you can go in between. So you can even step back. Jump back in. You can put one jump in the work. Let's get one more. You get a rest. It's a minute. That was a good first round. So shake it out, twist, just work on regaining your breath, really breathing, utilizing your young lungs, excuse me, your lungs don't stop here, so don't breathe from up here, breathe from down here, lungs come down here, breathe all in here, you know, 10 seconds until we start to reach backs again. So it's going to come in quick. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. We're down. So we're down. Come across. Down. Come across. Remember, your feet must stay flat on the ground. Keep them flat, okay? If you can't keep them flat, do this a little bit higher, okay? And it shuts down. And that's it. Or even all the way up. Touching. Touching. Remember, I want you to bend your knees. I want you to squeeze your glutes. Very important to be able to do so.
We're almost done here. Remember, if you're tired, you can come up and then down after you do all that. No problem in that. And then we come up. Look at my towel. Power squat turns. Remember, you can step, you can jump, 90 degree, 180, your choice. So we're here, squat, squat down, turn, squat, turn, squat, turn, your pace. If you find that you get tired while you're going through this, listen, I want you to completely stop. Keep it down, whoo, okay. Oh, that's hard, that's hard to step through. You know, then you can get back into it if you choose to, or. The fun part to those is you really feel the wind kind of pass by your ears, which is actually kind of cool. Remember, options. Always utilize your options. Almost done here. And then stop. Check it out. Push jacks. You know what this is? Medium distance from your chest. Your legs jump in and out. Or out and in more or less. All right, let's get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down, jack. Down, jack. Remember, knee option. Down, come up to toes, or even down, step, step, or even if you stay on your toes, down, step, step. Try to keep your hips up. If your lower back does start to hurt, because I know for some people that's a problem, try to just keep your hips up a little bit higher. It's not ideal, but it is better than not doing them. So let's go ahead and complete this and rest. So we're gonna go back to the lunge with balance, we switch halfway. You ready? Two, one, I'm gonna start this way. Come down. Then come up, down, come up. Try to get some height or just step out and come up to balance. Or just step out to the side and come up. But if you can, try to give a little hop to it. A little hop. Doesn't need to be big. Guess what? Other side, right into it. Up, down, up. Up. Or just balance. Or just step and balance. Or just step and hop up. Come down deep, then come up. Whatever your option is, use it. All right. Wide and narrow alternating push-ups. Let's get ready. Come on down. Remember, narrow. Arms close in, wide. Arms wide out. All right, let's go. Narrow, wide. Narrow, wide. Knee option. Please, if you cannot go all the way down, please use the knee option and come down. Down here. I don't want you to do a little one and come up. I want you to come down. 
and then up, then wide, down, then up. However, if you feel you can, come in, hop, out, in. You can even do that on the knees. Much easier. Still satisfying. Insect. Okay. All right. And go JCC's favorite. Going into burpees. Let's get ready. Check it out. All right. Let's begin. Come down. In. Up. Remember. Step. Come in. Jump. Or step in and at least up on your calves. We need those calves. You can go in between, just stepping, coming up. Make sure you're doing it safely. No injuries. Let's get one more. Great. We get a minute rest. Oh. It's always good. So we're going to go into our portion of cardio. So I'm trying to Regain yourself. <sighs> Plyo work is really hard, really stressful, but there's a lot of gains. Let's see what we got. All right, three, two, one, jog. That's what we're doing. Nice and easy. We're not gonna go crazy, not yet. We're going to follow with the same format that we have been. Jumping jacks, scissors, ice skaters. <sighs> All right, so get ready. And let's go into jumping jacks here. Remember, side stepping is an option. Or you can just stay right here as we go through. A few more seconds. Scissors, back and forth. Now, you can easily do that. Three, two, one, ice skaters. You can either go like this, stepping, beginning, and then give a little hop, give a little hop. See that leg goes behind, doesn't touch the floor. I want you to go as wide as you can in your room, wherever you are. Just this for now. However, if you can, come down to the floor, touch your toes, toes, toes. This helps your ankle complex. 
That's exactly what we want here. Ooh. See, look at that. Then we stop. Dog. So let's regain ourselves. If you can, in through your nose, out through your mouth. If you're just stepping, that's fine. Again, do what you can. Whew. Hopefully everybody's feeling good. I know everybody can't wait to get back to different routines. However, we here at the Mando JCC, glad you're able to join us. So now, guess what? Right in. Right in. Getting ready. Three, two, one. Scissors. Remember, you step. Don't necessarily need to jump, but I want you to do what you can, please. Right in. If you can. Woo, there it is. Keep going. We got 10 more seconds left. So I want you to go right through. Right through. Whew, there's that balance. And jog. Step. Keep moving. So good. Rest. More than, a little more than halfway through. Everybody's doing great. We move to the floor portion. So just breathe. Appreciate that you are strong and that you are doing very well for yourself. So, in about 20 seconds, all floor, all ab, all awesome. We're going to start face down in a plank. You're going to do an elbow, I mean, excuse me, elbow plank with front touch. That means here, and then touch out in front, touch out in front. Let's come down. If you haven't already, you can get ready. This comes in quick. And then up. Now, just imagine there's a dot. You're touching it. That's all you're doing. Just touch, touch, touch. So one thing I want you to take into account, as you're planking and you touch, one side of your body is really gonna lock so that you don't tilt. Make sure that you don't tilt. Keep yourself locked, okay? So, keeping locked, don't tilt your body. Try to keep that hip up. Really tight abs. If you have to be on your knees, sorry, I forgot to give you that option. There's another option. Then we can rest. We're gonna turn on our backs. Because now we're going to do banana boats. 
Some of you are already familiar. However, legs, arms out, straight. We're going to be hollowed, and we're going to go side to side. Then we begin. So we're hollowed, back off the ground. We come up, turn, other side, turn. This is what you're going to keep doing. However, I'm going to give you modified already. Legs flat, upper body off the ground, which is coming up. Just keep your shoulder blades off the ground as you do this. This is also effective. However, if you can, legs up, or even up on your hip, right there. Try to roll, stay up on your hip. Very hard to do, but very satisfying. You are really holding your core extra tight when you do this. If you come up higher, yes. It's like a little crunch at the end. We rest. All right, that was good. We need you back though. So we're going to do Superman, Superman. All you're going to do is have your hands under your chin. You're going to lift up, down with your legs. All right. Let's go. Then, just lift. That's it. There's not really a modification for this, except don't go as high if it hurts. So, you just come up and then down. You just come up and then down. Up, down, up, down. So, you go ahead and keep going. At least it might be my little towel here. We keep going. You should really feel your glutes and your lower back really working. So right in here and right here. Those should be really, really working the hardest. Chest off the ground. Chest off the ground. Then we rest. All right, pendulums. We're going to the left first, okay? Legs are going to be straight up in the air. We'll fall, come back up, fall, come back up. I'll show you in this neat, interesting way. Legs up. I'm going down to my left and then coming back up. So that's how you're doing. Coming down as far as you can. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground as much as possible while doing this. And if you could shoot right back up, just stay to one side, please. The counselor will let you know when to switch because it actually knows how to count better than I do. Hey, look at that. Other side. So we're down, same thing. Come up, down, whoops, up. Oh, feel those obliques. <sighs> Whoops. <clears throat> feel your wall or door, too. <clears throat> Come on, pull them in. Pull! Ah. <sighs> Good. <clears throat> All right. We're going to do a balanced body spear. We're going to start with one side. Basically, you're going to start left arm, right leg. You're going to be here, out like this, and you're going to pull in, elbow knee touch, and then you come back out, straight. So you come in, and then back out. Come back in, and then back out. In, out. There's not really a modification for this. So I advise you just to stay in it the best that you can. Remember, straight in, straight out. But give it a little crunch in if you can. Boom. Then we switch sides. Here. So now it's right arm, left leg. Or you just switch sides. Whichever you started with before. Here. Really tight abs. Out. 
Really stretched body, glutes, shoulders tight. Here, tight, out. Tight in, out. Good. All right. Guess what? Back in the front again. So now I gotta go to the elbow plank for the front touch. You know how that is? We put this out. Carpet's not nice to your elbows. All right. Two, one. Boom. Here we go. Remember, touch, 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 touch. Now, I didn't show this before, or not much. I'll knee option. Here, here. Here's the thing, though. The wider your legs are, the easier this is. The tighter your legs are, no matter where you're doing this from, the harder it is. So, you can even try to come up on your toes with your feet together and try to do this. You really realize how tight you need to have your core. Especially to not have it dip down, even on your knees. Same thing. Not using your obliques as much, but you're still using them, though. And my towel keeps getting away from me. I am soaking this thing. It's ridiculous. And then rest. I will relive your options. Let's get ready. Turn you over. All right. This is optimal. Where you're coming up, turning, coming up. Again, legs should be flat on the ground. Keep your upper body up as much as possible. You try to come up on the sides. You gotta really feel tight. We're rolling through both sides. Interest. Oh, that is great. Show a nice burn in your abdominal belt. So let's go into the Superman and women. Turning over. And we begin. It's simple. Just coming up and then coming back down. Just coming up, then coming back down. And that's it. That's all we're doing. Squeeze the lower back, squeeze the glutes. I want you to really feel the strength in your body. As you do this work, we're really trying to bring your body up off the ground as much as possible, getting the tightest squeeze that you can in the rear of your body. And then that's it for that. So now I'm going to the pendulums again. All right. So let's go ahead. Lay back. Ah, start to the left again first. Ah, and here we go. Down and then up. Boom. Now you feel those obliques from earlier? Yeah, I hope so. I want you to. I want you to really feel every piece of this work. And I really want you to concentrate on how well you can do, how deep 
you can go. And remember, we're going to stay to one side at first, because that's the counter from the other side. So now we go down to the right. So to the right, and then up. You also quickly find out which side is stronger than the other, which is very interesting. There. Well, what's next? Balanced body spears. Let's come on up and do those. Let's complete this. So you already know, left arm, right leg, and then vice versa. That's what we're going into. So, and we begin. Pull it in tight. Urgh. Out. Urgh. Tight shoulders, tight boots here. Tight core here. Elbow meet knee, knee meet elbow. That's your goal. And if you can get them to meet, try to get your elbow inside your thigh. Inside thigh. Let's switch right here. Inside thigh, boom. Really crunch in tight. Alright guys, come on, we're almost there. I want you to work this the best, best that you can. And great. Ladies and gentlemen, you are done. We now get to stretch. We'll wipe ourselves down. So now Child's pose, without further ado. Chest come down. Stretch it out. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and reach. Let your left arm go out a little bit further. Feel that stretch along the left side of your body. You can even use your fingertips to kind of crawl your arms forward. We'll keep your hips down to get a little bit deeper of a stretch. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Crawl out just a little bit. Let that arm go. Come back to regular child's pose. We're gonna roll up to cat pose. Pull that back up towards the ceiling. Oh, that's great. That is great. Come back down. We're going to do that one more time. Roll up. And then we're going to needle under. So, left arm on the right side of the body. Then left side under the body, I mean, excuse me, right under the left side of the body. Come back up. Lift the back up one more time, cat pose. Out of this, left foot forward. Big step, left foot. And then just lean your Hips forward, keep your body upright. Once you get a hips, a hip flexor stretch. Put your right arm up. And then turn the other way. And then we're gonna lean back, hamstring. Go ahead and switch. Next step forward again. Lean forward. Hip flexor stretch. I want you to feel a nice big stretch right there. That's right, leaning back. 
It's best to get that stretch. You could probably even feel the muscle if you're pressing in that area. So put your left arm up, turn towards it. And take that left arm, put it on the right knee, turn. And let's lean back. Go ahead, stand up. One last leg stretch we're going to do quads. So, whichever side you want to start first. The biggest thing though, when you grab your ankle for this stretch, just be nice and loose at first. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes, then pull your heel up to your glutes. To get the maximum stretch, you may even feel the hip flexor stretch again. Let it go gently. Don't just drop it down. Nice control. We're going to do the other side now. So, grab, core, glute, pull. Just like that. Itchy chin. And then let go gently. Don't let it just drop. All right, guys. Just turn gently. Just turn. Gently, gently. Back stretch. Chest stretch. Turn under, press back. Clasp your hands behind you. I want you to press down and back. That's how you get those shoulders. Then we come up with our elbows. Get another elbow. Really get into the triceps. Shake it out. Take a deep, deep breath in. Out. Breathe in, out, one more time, deep breath in, and then out. All right, guys, so thank you very much for attending class. If you feel you need to stretch more, please go ahead and do so. And um, our next class is uh, the Silver Strength that is going to be in about seven minutes. So I'm going to actually go ahead and jump off. However, there's also, um, I believe, 6. You know, i got to really get that down. It's 6 or 6.30 in the morning with Liz with Insanity class tomorrow morning. So please enjoy all of our classes. And hopefully we'll be able to see you all soon. Please take care. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time.